Global Safety Council presents Accidental Release and Spill Cleanup Procedures When you are dealing with hazardous materials, even a tiny release can become a major problem. It might look like nothing more than a common puddle, or if it's a gas, you might not see it at all. But it can be very dangerous. Large or small, a hazardous materials release is a situation that must be dealt with quickly and efficiently. No matter where you work, there is always the possibility that a release of hazardous materials will occur. Without a plan of action to deal with these incidents, it could already be too late to be able to respond effectively. By thinking ahead, you can save precious time and be ready for any possibility. Planning for emergencies takes everyone's cooperation. You can begin by participating in your company's hazard communication program. It provides you with the information that you need to understand. The hazards of the chemicals you work with, chemical labeling, and material safety data sheets. You will also find that the spill guidelines for your facility can be helpful. These are instructions for cleaning up various types of chemical spills in your workplace. In addition, you should ask your supervisor where you can get a copy of the facility's emergency response plan. This plan spells out how to report and handle emergencies at your location and includes information on the roles of personnel participating in a response, lines of authority, methods of communication, emergency recognition and prevention, site security and evacuation, decontamination procedures, first aid, and emergency medical treatment. 